Okay, now we will define uh, different types of functions based on the definition of the function. So let me write the title as types of functions. So the first type of function that we will define is called as a one one function. Okay, now what should happen in the in, in this type of function is that we know that if you have two elements which are in the set A, these two elements will be associated with some element in B. That is the definition of a function. Okay, so if you have two elements A and B, which are different, different elements, then those two elements should be associated with two different numbers in the set b so the image so suppose the function is denoted by f then this a has its image i'm going to call its images f of a and the image of b i'm going to call it as what f of b so if a and b are different then what should happen if a and b are not equal then f of a should not be equal to f of b if this condition is satisfied then i'm going to say such a function as a one one function. The equivalent definition of this is uh, written as what? I'm going to write the equivalent definition is if f of a is equal to f of b, then a is equal to b. This is also another equivalent definition of a one one function. In short, two different elements of set A should go and land with two different elements in the set B. So this kind of picture that I'm trying to show you now is actually not a one one function. Look at this particular diagram. You will understand this. Suppose I'm drawing this these two sets and suppose these two elements are going at the same element and this is going to some different element. This is not allowed. Here you have A and B. And A is also going to this element alpha. B is also going to this element alpha. This is not allowed. Then this guy, this of, is this a function? First of all, yes, this is a function. This is clearly a function because every element of set A is associated with some element of set B. Correct. So this is a function. But is it a one-one function? This is not a one-one so, function because two different elements of set A are associated with the same element of set b which is not allowed so this particular thing will not become a one one function so f is a function but f is not one one function okay so this is the first type of function the second type of function that we will now study is called as a on to function. What is the meaning of a on to function? So in in this type of functions, what should happen is that I will concentrate on the elements of set B. I'm going to concentrate on the elements of set B. In this, suppose I draw this the, the function in this fashion. Suppose this is the function f, which is mapping a, b, c, d to p, q, r, s in this fashion that I have shown you. Okay. First question is that is this f a function? Yes, this says f is a function because every element of set A is associated with elements of set B and that two unique elements of set B. Okay, is this is this function an onto function? So for checking that the function is onto, what you should do is I will go in the right hand side set. I will go in the set B. This set B is usually called as codomain, and this set A is called as domain of the function. Okay. I will go in the codomain and I will check is every element in the codomain having a pre-image in the domain. Okay. If that is true, then that function is called as a 
on two function okay so i will write the definition if every element in codomain has a pre image in the domain then f is set to be on two okay for example i will show you one diagram now try to check whether this function is a on to function or not so i'm having these four elements and suppose i'm having here five elements and the picture that i'm drawing is this okay i'm drawing here a b c d and here i'm drawing p q r s and t so the first question that we have is that is this f a function so the answer to that question is yes because every element of a is associated with some element in b okay and it is and it is associated with unique element in b a and b are getting mapped to q c is getting mapped to s d is getting mapped to r so this function is clearly this f is clearly a function first of all is it a on to function is it an on to function you have to go to the right hand side set and check that does every element have a pre image so who is a pre image of q the pre image of q is a and b so q has pre image who is the pre image of r the pre image of r is d who is the pre image of s the pre image of s is c who is the pre image of p p has no pre image who is the pre image of t the point t also has no pre image so p and t have no pre image so this means that this function f is not on to for having a function to be on to what you have you must have every element in the core domain which is the right hand side must have a pre image in the domain in that case you say the function is a on to function okay